Introduction to Algorithms. In this lesson, we're going to cover the key terms of computational thinking and how to create a set of ordered instructions to solve a problem. For this lesson, you will need a pen and a paper. So we're going to split this lesson into three key sections. The first thing we're going to do is define the key terms of computational thinking. We're then going to describe an algorithm for a real world problem. And finally, we'll prepare an algorithm for a real world problem. So we're now going to define the key terms of computational thinking. Now these key terms are as follows. The first one being decomposition. Now this is where we break a problem into smaller, more manageable parts, and this will make it easier to solve. Second one is pattern recognition. This is where we recognize the similarities there are between parts of a problem. Next one is abstraction. This is where we filter out the parts we don't need so that we can focus on the important aspects only. And finally, algorithm. This is step-by-step -step instructions to solve a problem. So let's consider how this actually works in the real world with some real life examples. Starting with decomposition, imagine creating a to-do list for cleaning your room. Now, think of all the aspects that are involved in cleaning your room. That might be making your bed, putting your clothes away, putting things in your washing, tidying the floor, vacuuming the floor, cleaning the windows, etc. Now, as all together, they might seem quite a big problem when your parents ask you to clean your room. However, by breaking it down into the individual parts, it should be an easier task to complete. Take pattern recognition. This is where we identify a recurring sequence. Something like routines in a school day. What time you have break every single day. What happens at the start of your lesson every single day. Where you have to meet every single day etc. Looking at abstraction, imagine using a public transportation map. You may have looked at a road map before, a bus map, a train map. What they've done, particularly on something like the London Underground, is actually pick out the important bits that you need to know for being able to get from one place to another. So that's the route that it goes, where it stops at, but it, what it hasn't done is shown you all the bits you don't need to know. And finally, algorithm. Imagine you're following a recipe to bake a cake. You need to follow it step by step so you don't miss anything out and that your cake comes out exactly as it should. Now, bit of a task for you. I want you to think if you can write down any more real life examples you can think of for each of the key terms of computational thinking. When you are done, you need to take a screenshot or photo for uploading to Clash Charts. Pause the video now so you can complete that task. So we're now going to describe an algorithm for a real world problem. So I'm going to consider the algorithm shown below, which shows the algorithm for a morning routine. Now that's written in code at the moment, but if I was going to put it into a step by step instructions, I'd start with the first section, which is when the alarm rings, we're going to hit the snooze button three times. And you can see that that's represented on the left with a repeat three. Finally, once we've done that, we turn the alarm off. We then must get up. Step three. Step four, we must shower. Step five, get dressed. Step six, eat breakfast. And then step seven, we may have a big decision to make because if the weather is sunny, we're going to walk to school, but if the weather is not sunny, we're going to ride with a parent. Now, all of these steps have been put in a particular order. And when we write a list of ordered instructions, that's actually called sequencing. So it's the order in which instructions are given. Now, consider the steps above. If we'd swap them around a little bit, well, we couldn't do that with some of them, could we? You're not going to be able to get dressed before you've had a shower. You can't shower before you've got up and, you know, you're not going to start walking to school until you've done everything before it. So it's important the order in which the instructions are given, otherwise the sequence won't work. Think about that recipe. If you do the instructions in the wrong order, your cake won't bake correctly. 
We're now going to have a go at preparing an algorithm for a real world problem. Now this is where you need to complete three tasks for me. The first level at developing. On the paper that you've got, I want you to identify all the materials needed for a cup of tea. Now that might be a cup, etc. In secure level, I want you to take all these things that you've identified and design an algorithm to make that cup of tea. So consider the task on the previous page. I want you to now make that into an algorithm for a cup of tea. So all the steps. Remember, the order is important. And finally, in Mastered, I'd like you to explain any ways you might have used decomposition, pattern recognition and abstraction today. When you have completed, take a screenshot or photo for uploading to Clash Charts. So, in order to complete the lesson, you must upload both the task from earlier and this task for uploading to Clash Charts.